The beaches on Savi Island are cold and empty. The winding roads are quiet, but in a few short months, summer will usher in tourists and perhaps a big change on the island, a rule banning alcohol on its beaches. Have had a lot of property damage, fences missing, life flight landing. Tracy Barnes grew up on Savi Island off Gillahan Road, where she says DUI crashes have gotten worse. Well, they're coming from the beach, you know, and they'll miss the corner over here. And they either end up in our yard, end up in the field over there. Or... Neighbors pack the Savi Island Grange Hall to, more of a family -friendly environment. to hear from Oregon Fish and Wildlife, which proposed the alcohol ban. Problems with alcohol here the last few years have been increasing. So it's time to rein this in. The ban would take effect from May 1st to September 30th. Police aid could save lives on and off land. I know of drownings that have happened out here, a lot of motor vehicle crashes, um, BUIIs where they're boating under the influence of intoxicants. I think this is a great idea, and I think all the residents are going to be for it. Others disagree. You ever heard the expression, a hot day and a cold beer? Including Daryl, who didn't want to show his face. I drink, but I drink responsibly. But to Tracy Barnes, on this island, that just doesn't matter anymore. I'm all for drinking responsibly and having a good time, but unfortunately, some people have ruined that for the majority. Next month, the state's Fish and Wildlife Commission will vote on whether or not to approve this rule. If it passes, it will take effect here May 1st of this year. Back to you.